sometimes I feel the necessity to uh, to point out things that are happening on uh, on TikTok, mainly because this is the stuff your kids actually watch. So I was confronted yesterday on Twitter with a bizarre TikTok video about a phenomenon called Libra gender. Now, you may be confused at this point because you're a rational and sentient human being. And it is strange that every two seconds, somebody is coming up with a new gender. Of course, that's not strange at all, given the basis of gender theory, which is that gender is completely mutable and also is a complete spectrum. It goes all the way from heterosexual, total heterosexuality on one side, all the way to homosexuality on the other side, anything in between. You could be agender, Right? They, they, that's, that's with regard to sexual orientation. Gender or that, that sexual orientation is a spectrum according to the left. So is gender, right? There's male on one side, female on the other, and then all the in-betweens. And in the dead center would be agender, which is a person without a gender, which is weird. It's like a Ken doll. It's just smooth where, where there should actually be protrusions, apparently. Okay, so now we have the phenomenon of Libra gender. Now, if you're wondering what is Libra gender, uh, let me play you this video in which a TikTok girl explains Libra gender. Hey guys, let's talk gender, specifically Libra genders. Firstly, know the difference between a static or a stable gender, one that doesn't change, and a fluid gender, one that does change. Now, Libra genders. Libra gender people feel mostly agender with a slight connection to another gender. Firstly, Libra feminine, and I do want you guys to keep in mind for the rest of the video that there is another black line down there. Libra feminine people feel mostly agender and slightly feminine. I describe it as feeling a strong connection to agender as, as well as a lesser connection to femininity. Libra masculine is the opposite, where someone feels mostly agender and slightly masculine. I'm described as having a strong connection to being genderless, as well as a lesser connection to being masculine. Lastly, we have Libra fluid. Libra fluid people feel mostly agender, with a slight connection to another gender that fluctuates throughout other genders. Stay with me here. They feel a strong connection to being agender, and another part of their gender feels fluid. One part will always feel agender, the other part will fluctuate between masculine and feminine. Hope that could help. Hmm. That didn't help. So, um, just want to point out that your kids actually watch this crap, and then they start to believe that you can identify as Libra gender, which, if I get this right, means that you mostly feel connected to a gender, which is weird. I'm not sure how you'd feel connected to that, but you feel connected to having no gender, which is literally impossible because all human beings are uh, sexually dichotomous, right? You're either, you're, we are a sexually dimorphic species. You're either male or you're female. There are a few people who have unfortunate conditions that make them intersex. That is not what she is talking about. She's talking about how you identify as a biological male or a biological female as a gender, which presumably means that you just stand there, right? You don't manifest any actual activity because it could be masculine. Or and then, but Libra gender is not just a gender. It's a gender with a slight hint, with just a dollop of masculinity or femininity. It's like coffee with a little bit of sugar. Um, so I have a proposal here. And it, it's out of left field. So stick with me here. And here's the proposal. The proposal is that if gender is a complete spectrum, and if every individual has their own specific gender, right? Because you could be Libra gender. You could be Libra fluid. You could be, okay, get, the, get this straight, or not so straight. You could be 53.3% agender. You could simultaneously also be 27.7% feminine, but at the same exact time, you could be 19% masculine. You never know. You could be all of these things at once, according to these folks. And you can, and, and it could be fluid, right? Those percentages could shift. Right? Sometimes you could feel like a unicorn and sometimes you could feel like a horse, but you really don't need to, to, to specify on any given day. We all have to have our own labels, right? And each, each time those percentages shift, the label shifts. So I have a proposal. Instead of using these labels, which are very, very confusing and each require their own, how about this? We call you by a name, your name, we could say, Jill. And just for purposes of clarity, so that we know who you are, because Jill, you know, names could be asexual. Just for purposes of clarity, we call you by your biological sex, which is perfectly objectively verifiable by outsiders. So instead of saying, here is a person who is Libra gender, 2.3% feminine, and 97.7% agender. We would just say you are a biological woman named Jill. You with me? It's even more specific than what you're trying to do. I, I know. This is revolutionary stuff. I, try to wrap your mind around it, though. It might, might be useful in the future. 
who's got two thumbs and wants you to like and subscribe.